Hey, what's up, Tigo here. Today I want to show you guys some of my favorite Cydia tweaks that I use on my iPhone 5. It's obviously with my latest video uh, that I put up uh, where I show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 5 or any other device. It's really, really easy to do, so go ahead and check that out if you don't know how to do that yet. But a lot of you guys have asked me, uh, once you've jailbroken your device, what can I do with it? You know, what can I customize? What can I modify? So I'm just going to show you guys, you know, what I've done to mine and what are my favorite uh, tweaks that are currently compatible with iPhone 5. So those are quite rare at the moment, but uh, if we wait a few weeks, there'll be many more. But I'm just going to show you guys uh, the ones I use at the moment and, of course, that are compatible. So I'll start off right away with the lock screen. Obviously, I have a little uh, mod here to have the kind of unfold or folding effect when I unlock my screen. So instead of having slide to unlock, you can fold to unlock, which I think looks pretty cool visually. Uh, that's called unfold, and I'm pretty sure it's totally free from Cydia. So I'll be leaving everything, all the names of all the mods I used in the description, they're all available on Cydia. Uh, and I'll be leaving in the description if you don't know how to type them out or something. But uh, anyway, that's called unfold. Uh, secondly, I'm also using a theme for my lock screen, uh, which is called Blink. Again, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description, as well as the instructions on that page. There are some instructions on how to install it, but that's a winterboard theme. theme. And this one is a slightly modified version, but not going to get too much into that. Of course, you still have your camera button. But uh, that's for the themes I'm using, uh, and I'll get back to that in a second as well for the themes. Um, Second thing I want to, or third thing I guess I want to talk about is the widget I have on my first page here. As you can see, I got the little little weather widget, which is kind of similar to Android devices. They also have these kind of uh, widgets here. You can move it around if you want to. Uh, but anyway, that's called Dashboard X. So I can go ahead and uh, as you can see, there it is, Dashboard X. It does have a few options to it. I'm not going to get into uh, all of the options and. Uh, but you can also download more uh, widgets from City as well for it. By default, I think it has a few. It has like the weather widget, it has the stock widget, and it has email or something. Uh, not 100% sure, but there's a few widgets it comes with pre-packed. So I think it's pretty handy. There's a few bugs to it still, but uh, I think it's definitely working on iPhone 5 and iOS 6. So um, yeah, the second thing I want to talk about is this little effect here. When I go from page to page, uh, this was already pretty popular, by the way, on previous jailbreaks, but uh, it still exists and it is compatible with iOS 6. And it's called Barrel. It has a lot of cool, uh, I think it's free. I'm not 100% sure about that. No, I think it's not free. I think it's like 99 cents, although I'm sure you can get it for free from other like repos or sources, however you want to call that. But um, it does have a few effects to it. Well, it has many effects, and a lot of them are, some of them are really fancy. Some of them are right, uh, relatively simple, but as you can see, has some cool effects uh, that you can add. I personally, I'm not gonna go through all these effects, but I personally really like the icon scatter. Uh, it's pretty simple, not too complicated. And uh, looks nice and smooth. So uh, that's it for that, the barrel uh, mod. Uh, next, I want to quickly have a look at uh, Infinity Folders. Uh, these are the options for it. I'm just going to show you guys exactly what it does. When you have a folder, obviously you have the limited amount of icons usually, while with infinity folders you can just scroll through, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. So That's pretty much what it allows you to do, uh, have an infinite amount of icons in a folder. So I think that's pretty cool if you have a lot of games, for example, and you don't want to have multiple folders. You can just have one and scroll through it. So uh, That's called infinity folders. Uh, it does also have a few other things like or this uh, same person that made it also has like infinity dock and infinity board I think which kind of do the same for the dock and for your springboard but uh, that's for that so infinity folders next thing is NC settings uh, obviously that's for your notifications center so if I scroll down my notification center right here you can see that I have a few extra things um, here and I think this is really really handy it's kind of shortcuts to like basic settings you use a lot uh, so here I have my Wi-Fi, I have my uh, personal hotspot, my brightness of my screen, which I can adjust straight from here. Obviously, you guys cannot see this because it's recording, so it doesn't change it, but uh, it does obviously change it on my actual phone. Uh, it has the flash at the back of the phone, which does this. might be a little bright, sorry about that, but um, 
pretty much enables the flash. Uh, airplane mode, mobile data, 3G, uh, geolocations, private browsing, Bluetooth, off and on, VPN, if you have a private network, and as well, um, sorry about that, also has the, what am I doing? I keep on clicking on the weather instead of the actual thing, which is auto correction. Yay. <laughs> so that's for that. Uh, so a lot of cool shortcuts in my opinion, uh, definitely quite handy. So that's for NC settings. I think it's free. Uh, yeah, it's hundred percent free and does have a few extra things you can add. I think extra uh, options to it or remove them if you don't use them that much. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next up I got Spring Tomize, which pretty much has so many features to it, I cannot go through it all because it would take really, really long time, but pretty much allows you to customize pretty much everything on your springboard, uh, have, you know, change the duration of animations, uh, lock animation, that's one I use. I'll just quickly go over the features of it that I personally use. So, um, app to app transition which I use which is vertical so if I go to another app for example Cydia it's going to do that little flip thing but vertically instead of horizontally the OTV animation is when I lock my phone as you can see it does that little animation I'll show you guys again there you go um, so that's that uh, you can change the color of that as well uh, this is just to disable features on your phone your dock you can hide your dock labels reflections, shadows add a custom numbers uh, of icons, uh, even enable cover flow effect, uh, lock screen, bunch of bunch of stuff. The stuff I use is hide the top bar, um, and you can also hide the knob and stuff like that if you want to. Icons you can set a uh, custom amount of icons per line, which is pretty cool. If you want to have more of those, uh, hide labels so the names. You can resize the icons if you want to have smaller icons because you don't maybe have really thin fingers and you think it's not really needed to have such big icons you can go ahead and do that uh, you can hide certain icons you can even choose like which uh, apps you don't want so for example if you never use your maps you can go ahead and hide that or um, newsstand which is a great example because newsstand is kind of annoying a lot of people might not use it but they have to have it on their phone so you can go ahead and just disable it right there uh, as you can see it's just hiding newsstand uh, folders has a bunch of options here as well. The one I think is pretty cool is this one, the create and dock allows you to have a folder inside your dock. App switcher has a bunch of stuff. The one I think are handy here, start with iPod, which means every time you go into your uh, app switcher, instead of starting right here with your apps that you're using, it's going to start here. So this is what you're going to see when you open your app switcher uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Time machine, I don't know why you'd ever want that, but it's obviously to back up your stuff. Uh, status bar, you can enter a custom carrier name if you want to have your little name instead of your carrier or something. Uh, and change a lot of stuff, like you can hide certain items, like if you don't want the battery or something, you can remove that. Um, pages, you can hide the dots, remove the page limit, so you know you can have an infinite amount of these. Um, disable spotlight. Theming. Notification Center, I do use the custom background here, which I have as blurred instead of the default one, which you, as you can see, kind of blurs the background instead. I think it's quite cool. So that's for Spring Tomize, a lot of stuff to it. I just went through a few of the features that I might use. Uh, this video is already quite long, but I don't want to make it any longer. Uh, Unfold, obviously, I already told you guys about that one. Um, Zeppelin, I quickly want to go over that one because that one is really, really simple and uh, obviously free. Uh, you can pretty much set a custom carrier logo here. You can choose from a bunch of different icons, which I think are quite cool, like the Apple logo. It's going to change your carrier at the top left uh, in that little logo. So it has a bunch of stuff. Uh, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Windows. Don't know why you'd ever want that, but it's there. I like the Assassin's Creed one. So that's for Zeppelin. Uh, pretty cool. Winterboard is for the themes. So themes like... Uh, my lock screen and a few other things that I've enabled. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I also use iBlank, which is not here, but I think I do have it here, which pretty much adds uh, blank icons to your dashboard, which I have right here. 
as you can see at the top the four top icons are blank because uh grid this is a really really old tweak uh that people used to use people don't use it that much anymore but the reason I'm using it now is because a grid lock, which is another tweak, is not uh, compatible yet with iPhone 5. So I'm using this instead uh, to kind of solve that problem and add my widget there at the top uh, when I want to. So that's another tweak I have. And I think that's pretty much it. I also have uh, Byte SMS, which I recommend anybody to have really, really, really handy SMS system or uh, any messages. Uh, if you use iMessages or just messages, it works as well. But uh, what it allows you to do is pretty much reply to text messages from any application. So let's say you're inside your Facebook, you can just uh, go ahead and if somebody sends you a message, you can reply straight from Facebook. It just comes with a pop-up and you can do everything from there as well as see the whole conversation, see the pictures uh, and add smileys, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it also has another feature that when you click on your uh, volume slider, you can also tap on the volume and then it's automatically going to send a text message. Uh, to whoever you want and here you can also scroll this down and you can see the conversation you had with that person but obviously I hidden this because I don't want you guys to see that but um, that's pretty much that um, that's pretty much all the tweaks I'm using sorry and uh, hopefully that gave you guys some idea of what to get obviously you can also get a bunch of teams that pretty much change everything like your icons and everything that you see visually um, but you know, I like to keep it rather simple and rather good looking. And I do, in, uh, I do plan on uh, still changing a lot of things on my iPhone. Uh, as soon as more tweaks come out, uh, I do want to change a few things and uh, maybe customize a few things. So, especially the dock and stuff, I want it to look a bit better. But I'll do that once more tweaks come out. So if you guys want another video of this in a few weeks' time, where more stuff will be uh, out, uh, go ahead and comment down below. And uh, hopefully this helped you guys. If you have any questions for anything, you can go ahead and comment down below or send me a personal message and I'll try to reply it. Uh, as well as like the video if you did enjoy it and found it useful. I'm sorry for you if the video was a little long, but uh, I just uh, you know wanted to show you guys everything pretty much. Um, one last thing if you guys are really interested is the sources I have on my Cydia. So these are all the sources I'm using. Pretty much all the details.